It often happens that when repairing radio equipment, we run into a problem of not being able to replace inductance with the same device, either because the labeling of the old inductor is not unified, or maybe because the wording on the case of the component says only inductor number blah blah. In this case, we can go one of the two ways. We could repair the inductor by restoring the integrity of the lead, replacing the old core, which is no longer able to perform the needed functions, and replacing the old form, which was broken, for example. We could also replace the coil itself. In this case, we need to temporarily restore the contact within the circuit. In order to do that, we will need an inductance meter and a tweezers probe. We will use them to measure inductance in the damaged circuit and to make the replacement using KIP series circuit. Do remember that the core can only change the inductance by 20% at the most, whereas the maximum recommended frequency for KIP inductors is 35 MHz. Knowing those little tricks, you'll be able to fix your television or radio receiver more often.